Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something that's normally not what I speak about on my channel. Uh, I'm a venture motorcycle rider that does his own maintenance and things like that, and that's what you're going to find on my channel. But today we're going to talk about my golden doodle and how this dog has ruined my life. I'm a dog guy, right? Uh, we've had two boxers for the last uh, 11 or 12 years. Uh, my old one just crossed Rainbow Bridge a few months ago, but we had a younger one. They were five years apart, and we realized having two dogs was, was great. They, they had their own companionship even when we were gone. So when my youngest boxer got five-ish, my wife starts talking about wanting another dog. So I immediately think, let's get another boxer. These two have been great. I mean, we, we have our house set up for, for dogs. We're dog people, right? Uh, the dogs have a doggy door. They go outside when they want to. They sunbathe. They hang out. They drink out of the pool. Uh, they've got life pretty good. I took a five-day trip. Dogs just chilled at home. I came in. They're chilling on the couch. So, I mean, boxers are great. So my wife says she wants another dog. I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to get another boxer. And then she says she wants a fluffy puppy. What's a fluffy puppy? Well, what are you kidding me? Man, I'm a, I'm a motorcycle riding, oil field working guy. I don't want a fluffy puppy. Oh, there, speaking of the devil, there is that fluffy puppy. All right. See that? That's him. <laughs> hey, I, I, that's him. See, now you understand. That's what I'm talking about. So, she says she wants a golden doodle. Golden doodle. I don't even know what a golden doodle is. What is that? I can't be some oil field, Harley riding, BMW, motorcycle riding guy with some little fluffy thing. And then she tells me what they cost. Holy crap. See, now there's my, there's my little boxer. Where's he at? Harley, this is Cooper, and Cooper has single-handedly ruined my life as I know it. So, we started looking for these fluffy puppies, and I realized how much they cost. And I have huge not getting me to spend that kind of money on a dog. And my wife just won't let up. I mean, she's just on this thing. And finally, I find one. I, I gosh, I think we went up. We went up into Oklahoma to get this dog. We find him, bring him home, and I will say he rode 500 miles on my wife's lap. Never barked, never whimpered, never whined, nothing. And I thought, man, pretty good dog. And he was just a little fluff ball. And I get home, my youngest boxer, Harley. He didn't know what to think. He didn't like this thing because Harley was our baby, man. He sat on your lap. He was just a lap dog and just a great, great dog. So last eight or nine months, I've been in working from home and I could go in, walk through the living room and you would see that both my dogs were chilling, sleeping somewhere. Well, now we've got this fluffy puppy and everywhere I go, there he is. Here he is now. That's where he stays. So I can't just roll back in my chair like I used to. I gotta pay attention to where he is because I'll roll over his fur. He's always around. I, look what he's done to my window seal right here. See this? He lays there with his head in the window seal looking out the window. He's always around. Here, we'll get up and go for a walk. See? He was sleeping a minute ago, and then, here it comes. See, what, what do you want, buddy? What, what? I mean, <laughs> yep, yep, see? This is, this is the dog that ruined my life. He, he, he's gotta bite me. You just saw me, look. This is what you're in for. Look, and look at that face, Cooper. Look at this face. You, you can't, how do you get mad at him? How do you get mad at him? You can't. He's so freaking cute. He's, I mean, he's a big old fluff ball. Huh. 
Yeah, yeah I know. This dude is uh, 16, 17 months old and 100 pounds. You take him for a walk, he just, he'll be doing his thing. Then he has squirrel moments and he has a bunch of them. And when he decides at 100 pounds that he's gonna stop and sniff, he's gonna stop and sniff. It's his walk. But look at this face. You can't get mad at him. What, what, what am I gonna do? When, when, I, when I leave, when I leave, he lays in the, in the floor right there with his head on the window ledge. That's from him slobbering on it. And he looks out the window. See? There he goes. Watch. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. It's pathetic. I'm telling you, man. Your wife wants one of these fluffy puppies. This is what you're getting into. So, I'll be out driving. I come back from work or whatever I'm doing. I park and I walk up. And you're going to see where my dog is. What he's doing. See him? That's what you come home to. He just lays there. And looks at you every freaking time. And this is what you get. When you come in the door. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I know. I, I was outside for a minute, wasn't I? Yeah. Let me tell you. He now guilt trips me when I leave. I love my boxers. I love this guy to death. My other one that crossed the rainbow bridge, she was the greatest dog in the world. But this big old golden doodle thing, I don't know who come up with this idea, but that's the best friend. <laughs> Tell him. He's been a great freaking dog. And I hate to leave him because he just guilt trips me. with big old eyes, coop. Look at them big eyes. <laughs> Who are you talking to, buddy? Who are you talking to? Oh, yeah. Okay, see? See? So, in closing, I'm going to tell you. If you've seen people with a golden doodle or labradoodle or burnadoodle, whatever doodle, I'm just telling you. Those dogs have ruined people's lives because, man, it's a game changer. What a great dog. So probably the last time on my channel you're going to see about Golden Doodles, but it's really a good dog. All right. They're expensive, but boy, they're worth it. Hope you enjoyed this and have a great day.